solubility of calcium chloride and it's in a solution of magnesium sulfate. So as soon as you see solubility, you got to think this KSP stuff. So calcium 2 plus aqueous plus, uh, well, there's two fluorines, so two fluorine minus aqueous. We're going to do our ice table as normal. And then solids you ignore. And here's what I tell you, this is going to end up being, uh, let's see, calcium chloride, oh, okay. So, it gives us magnesium sulfate, but really not for too much reason as far as you're concerned. So you'll see there's a 0 0.0125 molar solution of magnesium sulfate. The only thing that that does really conceptually is add in that activity coefficient factor because when there's a lot of ions in solution, usually the activity coefficient is not one. In this whole class, we've been assuming it's one. So at this point, everything's going to be normal, and I'll show you where things get a little funky as far as activity. Zero and zero, plus x and plus two x, so zero plus x, zero plus two x, and then, uh, so let's write this out. K S P. Let's see if it's given. It should be. Uh, let's see. It's three point nine times ten to the minus eleven. So that's a given. And then set this up for this equation. It's calcium two plus. Make sure you can write this sort of stuff. Don't forget to square the fluorine because there's two of them. So plug in. That's X for calcium, 2x for fluoride, square that, and you solve for x, so solve for x, x is going to equal 3.1 times 10 to the minus 4, oh I forgot one factor, so that's how you would do it normally, in this question you've got those activity coefficients, so here's what changes. And it looks really similar when you add in the activity coefficients. The only thing that's good is a little gamma here for calcium, which is just going to be a constant, and then up in front of the fluorine, a little gamma as well for fluorine squared equals. And really, this x is going to be for this one here. So then the gammas are given, I'll write those down below. Gamma for calcium is given, it's 0 0.485. And gamma for fluorine is given, and that's 0 0.810. So all you're going to do is add those coefficients there, uh, uh, and I call activity coefficients, there's really constants. You're just going to multiply them into the equation. And it's still going to equal x and 2x squared. When you solve for x, you get this value here. I wrote it for the top one. It's really for the bottom one. So in this problem, you have to solve it this way, adding in these activity coefficients. If it didn't say anything about those, you just solve it as normal. So the top is normal. Uh, and then after that, let's see. I wants it in a certain unit milligrams per liter. So we got to do a little uh, conversion because this is, answer is going to be in moles per liter. So when you solve for x, that's going to be uh, essentially units of molarity, but for solubility we actually write moles per liter. So you take this number, 3.1 times 10 to the minus 4. This is moles per liter. And we want it in milligrams per liter, according to the question. So I want to multiply by the molar mass. And the molar mass of calcium fluoride is 70.07. Oh, uh, wait, 78.07. So that's in, now, grams per liter. I'm just going to do one more conversion uh, times. 
one gram for every 1,000 milligrams. And now, just doing that conversion, you get 24.4 milligrams per liter. Any questions on that one? Or forgot who asked it. Yeah. Yes. What do you do with the 0 0.0125? 0 0.0125, you do nothing with it. Good, that was easy. It's irrelevant. Mathematically, it's irrelevant to you. It's only relevant if we asked you to calculate these gammas, which we wouldn't. And so, because we're not asking you to calculate those, it's not going to be relevant to you. It would be relevant if it was a common ion, but it's not. So, as far as math is concerned. Yes. Is the reason why point or zero point eight one zero square is squared the activity coefficient for f? Is that because um, there's two f's? Yeah. So if, if there this is two, squared, the gamma is squared. So if there was yeah. two C, CAs, then you would also square. Yeah, or fifty four. Okay. You raise it to that power. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay.